All right, we got a piece of um, 22 gauge sheet, cold rolled sheet metal. We're gonna see if we can't make a flower. First of all, we'll, we'll section this off into like four pieces and we'll draw some flower designs before we cut them out. So I went back over the black marker because I don't really care for the um, red marker. And we'll kind of come back and drill a hole so we can weld it, all of them together when we stack them on top of each other. But basically what I'll do is I'll, I'll cut this out right here with a pair of 10 snips, which this is 22, so it cuts a lot easier than like 20 or 18 gauge. I use this 22 on the, any kind of metal shaping. Cuts nice and bends nice, you could, you could form it pretty easy. So what I'll do is I'll cut my 10 snips and I'll come to about here on everything, leave about that much. I'll use these like, I think these are uh, Irwin's. I had some Swiss Irwin that snap on. Yeah, when they're, you buy these at the hardware store. And they cut fairly easy. Gives your arms a hell of a heck of a workout, that's for sure. Let me whack, knock these things up a little bit. That yeah, man, Whew, that creates some real arm pump, my goodness. So now that we got all four of these cut out, they're all four different, a little bit different sizes. Put the smallest one in the middle on top, obviously, and then we're gonna work our way back down and just kind of get it. Just kind of work these over, I get them pretty close. Not that, like, I don't know if Mother Nature really goes every other one, but I kind of like the looks. Of it. We'll come back in and we'll drill a hole and we'll tack all these together with the, I think I'm gonna use is just like TIG welding wire. And it's eighth inch. We'll drill a hole and a lot of times I'll just drill a hole all the way through, put this all the way through and then weld the top of it. If we want after drill holes, we can come over to our, like a ball peen hammer and stick right there and start hammering and dollying on these and get them kind of shaped where you want them more of a cut. <laughs> tacked and I've also tried to stagger my leaves a little bit so they were all four of them in one row they kind of staggered a little bit out and now we just take a pair of pliers and then we just start bending Not to tweak those things back and forth so much that it starts to rip the inside, and one of those leaves fall off. If it does, just open it back up, weld it, and then put it back together. And I'm pretty close. Sometimes I'll use like a pair of vice gear or a channel locks, just kind of hold everything and kind of squeeze everything together. Push like when you get like a weird, you can see that uh, you get like a weird stuck piece like that where it's overlapping, it doesn't want to fit real tight. All right, we just about got these looking like a real, a real flower. I mean, if you don't like how tight it is, you could always. Open it up a little bit, open each one of these up just a little bit. Space in between all these. Plus if I spray a little bit of paint or something, like look. Scoot back, I'm getting kind of close to you. Just open some of these up a little bit. What's really cool about the scrap metal, you can do just about whatever you think looks good. It's not about art, it's all about what you got in your head. So this is literally a piece of 20 gauge sheet metal drawn the squares. I used a vice, I used a pair of needle nose, a pair of channel locks, and a regular pair of pliers wherever they went. A regular and a regular pair of pliers. They bend the shape of all this into. And then what else we used a pair of tin snips. 
a little grinder with drill and a drill bit, a piece of welding rod, a couple different pairs of tin snips, and a welder. So what we'll do is we'll mount this to something. We'll have to go find a base. That make a pretty cool base. And then you can mount it on something like this. You do like a bigger bearing. I found this. We're gonna use it as the base. Put that through there, and I'm gonna put the. I'm gonna pull this back through with the washer sitting there. So I found a washer that'll fit flush down in there. So this was a leaf that I actually had. I was trying to make something else. So I already had this one all cut out and drawn up. So then we'll pack these two pieces onto this. And like. Plus, sometimes you, you could tack it in there. Adds a little bit of a cool, like, blue haze. The more heat you put towards it, the further that blue ring will go out. But I think that's good. So basically, it's kind of like that. 